what does this thing do? Okay, that's kind of freaky looking. Hey there everybody, this is Harley Bartley. Welcome back to another episode of Starbound Bracken Universe Mod. When we last left off, we had taken a look at one of the planets that was specifically put in by Fracken Universe, the Frozen Volcanic World. We also got to take a bit of a look at a precursor biome. We unfortunately did not find anything of substance, but still, we got to take a look at one. Alright, so this time around, we are going to take a look at a world that was actually in the original Starbound. And that, my friends, is the volcanic world. So this is a large world, day length, medium, fauna threat, extreme, climate threats low, which I don't understand why the climate threat is low when it's, you know, a volcano. But we have volcanic and scorched city biomes with cinder showers, light ash fall, and smog. Now, ash fall weather is a lot like a sandstorm. Uh, when you have it drop down, you have to clear it away in order to be able to get out of a building or whatever. And Lord help you if you have an opening in the building that you're in because it will find its way in. So it's very annoying. But on these planets, you can find some of the higher end stuff, such as azusalt and solarium and violium. So it says, volcanic activity blights this planet and the beam site is in an area of particular virulence. The temperature is for beyond normality, um, beyond normal survivability temperatures. So what we are going to need for this is, obviously we're going to need that heat EPP that I had originally, the thermal shell. So... Now we can head on down to the planet. Also, before I go, I um, did notice that I was starting to get a wee bit on the crowded side for my inventory. So I went ahead and put all these different blocks in here. There's different things we can do with those blocks later, and I will show you. And I also got this thing. It's a pocket dimension. It's dimensional storage is what it's called. And it is super freaky looking. I don't know what will happen if I put something in it. If it will mutate it or whatever. Or if I'll lose it. Nope. It's alright. But anyway, we have a dimensional storage now. So, just just for the record. Alright, and one other thing that I can possibly do is I want to see if... Let's see, what can we do? Oh, I did find out why... The one was uh, taking so long earlier and not working. There are actually some in here that change the whole planet's climate. And then there are some that just transform an area into that. So I want to see what I can turn something into. Alien desert. Interesting, interesting. Um, ooh. Let's see if we can turn this volcanic world into an Eden planet. That would be super interesting to see. So since this is probably going to take a little bit of forever, I'm going to go ahead and do a... I wanted to do a time warp, but it seems like it's just, it's still really dark, so. Now it's still really dark. Okay, now it's sort of day, but yeah. And we're slow going on this planet because even though I have a really high EPP, it's still not helping all that much. So that's the one problem with um, Fracking Universe is there's a lot of augments that you can get. But in order to actually traverse some areas, you really need those augments. They just they aren't just covered by the EPPs anymore. It's not just like um, a total cover for everything, not a general covering. So let's head on up here. Hello. Oh, hey, it's an Argonian. 
Sure. Let's buy everything you have. And what are these? Chilies. Yes, that's one thing you can find on a volcanic planet. Are chilies. So, here's what I'm going to do. I, while we are taking a look at this, am going to set down this terraformer. Wherever I put it. This Eden Terraformer. Actually, no. Let's uh, let's just set down a. Yeah, let's leave it as an Eden Terraformer. All right. And now we're gonna go up here. Okay. So we're just going to leave it there, and we're going to keep walking onward. What kind of wood do we have? We just have regular wood. And some weird little thing that keeps popping up out of the ground. Geodes. And here's this geode biome. Geode tree. Geodes here, geodes there. Little tiny geode people. Neon melon. Hello. Oh. Do you need stabbed in the face? Okay. I will oblige you. Oh, this is cool. Also, the music that's playing in the background here is the same as when you're out in space or using a mech. And... That's something I don't know if we've gotten yet, is our mech. So, I'll have to show you guys about that later on, too. Well, you can also get geodes. And in a geode biome, what these do is you can break them open, just like a um, special bag. So, down here it's saying we got orange geode sample, cobblestone. You can get different, like, samples, and what those are are these things. They are actually little decorative things that you can put in houses. So, and sometimes you'll just get regular rocks. Sometimes you'll get ore. Sometimes you'll get some fairly interesting stuff. But that's all we've got going for now. So, yeah, this is what a volcanic world looks like. This is what a geom geode biome looks like. So, we're going to start burrowing under the surface a little bit. And, yeah, it's kind of strange sometimes to have uh, rainforest and flower blocks on a volcanic planet, but they did have um, a geode biome, so... You'll find it much warmer in caverns thanks to heat being trapped within. Stay cool or you'll stay dead. And like being in the desert, you know, taking little dips in water is going to help you on a volcanic planet. So, looks like we're running into another little avian tomb area. Nice for getting stuff for houses and all that. And then we found some thorium. Oops, that was a pocket dimension door. And I took it. By mistake. I accidentally destroyed it. Those actually lead to like little dungeons that, um, in little other dimensions where you can find some interesting stuff. And I made an oopsie. Alright, so let's go on back up and. We'll see how many more times that I have to keep feeding this uh, microformer, this terraformer, before it actually changes the planet entirely. So we're going to keep going. Keep going. So I, 
I kind of wonder if the flower blocks are from the terraformer itself, if that's what's slowly working, it's slowly changing. And yeah, because I think I passed this earlier and it wasn't like this. So I think it's slowly working, it's just not complete yet. Yeah, and see, there's the ash storm that's going on there too. Yep, so we had like, it rained lava for a little bit. And now we have an ash storm going. So... Yeah, this has to uh, feed up to 5,000 essences. So... We are just going to uh, wait here until it completely terraforms. But yeah, this is what it looks like when a planet is terraforming into something else. And we have an ash storm at the same time. It's pretty cool looking, honestly. And congratulations, everybody! We finally done it! We have officially gotten an Eden planet from a volcanic world! Woohoo! I mean, we still have lava everywhere, of course, but this is what an Eden planet looks like that's been terraformed from something else. Look, we've got a feather crown. There's flowers and dirt everywhere. The people aren't suffering. We even still have our little gym guys that are running around. Aren't they cute? And we have new wildlife. We even have new, more welcoming music. But we do have certain things like bioluminescent spores and other things that were left behind. Oh, hello there. Hello, mushroom people. These mushroom guys have taken over this house. That's cool. Also, I found an energy pickaxe. Isn't this thing cool? Alright, so now you've kind of seen what an Eden world looks like after it's been terraformed from something else. So, in the next video, I'm going to find us an actual Eden planet. Alright guys, if you like this video, please hit the like button and share it with all of your friends. And also, do remember to subscribe, and to also... Alright everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video here. If you like this video, please hit the like button, and don't forget to share it with all your friends. Also, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you can catch the next video as soon as it comes.